Hello friends and welcome to Amazon Active Webcast. In today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to install Exchange 2016. But this is the first part of this video series and in the first part of this video series, we are going to see how to install the prerequisites on Windows Server 2012 R2. So basically in this video demonstration, we are going to preparing the our lab environment to install Exchange Server 2016. So what we have? In my demo lab design, I have a one Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition and on that machine, I have a install Active Directory Domain Service with DNS service. The name of the my server is srtf1dc01.mylab.local and the IP address is 172.1872.201. We have another VirtualBox VM. On that box, already I have installed Windows Server 2012 R2 data center evolution edition this vm is also part of our the domain and on this vm we have ip address 172.1872.205 and on this machine we are planning to install exchange server 2016 so first of all let's discuss about the what are the prerequisites to install exchange server 2016 so exchange server 2016 can be installed on windows server 2012 and windows server 2012 r2 and as of now you can also install Exchange Server 2016 on Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 4. Both versions of Windows Server, either the standard or data center edition, can be used to run Exchange Server 2016. We require Active Directory and minimum forest functional level for Exchange 2016 is Windows Server 2008. Windows Server 2012 or 2012 R2 is required for Exchange 2016 installation. You cannot install Exchange 2016 on Windows Server 2012 Essential Edition. And one more thing we should we have to note that a full server installation with GUI is required for Exchange Server 2016. It can't be installed on core mode installation of Windows Server. There are three possible installation scenarios for Exchange Server 2016 that you can perform. First, you can install Mailbox Server role. This is the only mandatory server role. You can install edge transfer server rule. This is optional and can't coexist with the mailbox server rule on the same Windows server. And you can install management tools for admin workstation or on any server from where you want to manage your action server. Other software requirements are also there. You have to install .NET Framework 4.5.2 and as well as we require a Microsoft Unified Communication Manage API 4.0 core runtime 64-bit. So let's uh, going back to my virtual machine and uh, this is the VM on which we are planning to install the Action Server 2016. So let's check the system is part of the domain or not. So this is the computer name x16-mbx01.mylab.local that is a part of our mylab.local domain and uh, if you see the system property we have a Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition and uh, we have a assigned 4.75 GB RAM to this virtual machine. You can close and uh, here we have this list of prerequisites that we have to install. First, we are going to install install window feature asset EDDS. Let's copy this and let's open the PowerShell. And enter. So installation of asset EDDS allows Exchange Setup to extend the uh, Active Directory schema and prepare the domain for Exchange installation. You can also extend your schema and domain by running the CM deletes manually. And that's done. Now we need to install certain uh, operating system rules and features. And here's the PowerShell CM deletes to install all the required rules. Just copy and paste. Now at the end of I mentioned the switch hyphen restart. That means once we install the all these rules, if restart is required, that time your server will automatically restart. Basically, a restart is required after the rules and features have finished installing. If you would prefer that the server restart itself automatically, simply append the hyphen restart to the commands.
After the restart, log on to your member server again as a domain administrator and let's going back to the uh, our server manager dashboard. Minimize the server manager dashboard and once you install all the required uh, server roles and features, let's move to the next step. Now we need to install .NET Framework 4.5.2 and Microsoft Unified Communication Manage API 4.0. So already I download both uh, software and first we are going to install .NET Framework 4.5.2. This is the offline installer of .NET Framework. Okay, select I have read and accept the license terms. Click on install. Click on yes. Okay, so once installation is complete, click on finish. And in the next step, we have to install Microsoft Unified Communication Manage API. Double click on it. Click on next. Select I have read and accept the license terms. Click on install. Okay, so installation is complete and click on close. So now the server is ready to install Action Server 2016. So in the next video, we'll see the installation of Action Server 2016 on Windows Server 2012 R2. That's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.